This is Puahona Owaina, the largest homeless camp on the island of Oahu. Twinkle Borge has been the leader of the camp for years and has been a tireless advocate for helping people with a hand up and not a hand out. And keep them safe so we all be can COVID free. Everybody, I used to live at KL Beach Park before. Um, like 14 years or something. And they swept us this way, my cousin Twinkles was here. Well, um, warm blankets and stuff all yeah. Speaking of that new village up there, what do you think about it? You know, that that could... That's ours. That's ours. Everybody is scared of change. Well, it's coming. It's coming and it's coming soon and I'm looking for it. I told Twin because I want to be one of the last because I want to make sure all the rubbish and stuff is gone. Twinkle to me is someone who epitomizes that action speaks louder than words and essentially has dedicated her entire life to helping making other people's lives better. It's exciting to be here on site and see the progress made. You know, this uh, IRT project really has accelerated the development of this site. When I first met uh, Twinkle and James and we dreamed about what's possible, you know, it was very clear that they didn't want a handout, they wanted a hand up. And they believed that uh, they could be successful in, in moving from homelessness to being a contributing member of our community. And it's just exciting to see um, buildings actually going up and projects being fi finished. They do require a strong community um, foundation and partnership. And I think this project is a perfect example. Uh, you know, not only a Twinkle and the homeless community out um, by the Boat Harbor, but really they've been able to organize funders and community members. They've really demonstrated that they can be contributing members of our community. Um, and when you see this, you can definitely understand why they are successful. I've covered many stories on homelessness on the west side and have always been made to feel welcomed by Twinkle and her Ohana. This interview was shot on August 1st, just one week prior to her passing. Ah, uh, Twinkle Borge, um, village leader, mama to the kids. And how do you spell yeah. your last name? B-O-R-G-E. Perfect. Yes. Um, so what's your reaction just to see, like, you know, to see this, like, finally happen? And oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I just can't wait for people to come home. You know, we, every every evening we do have the kids come home um, up here to do the, their um, showering, um, their laundry, having their dinner. So. I'm very excited. Yeah, I can't wait. And there's so many hands that's, yes. that's yes. putting, like going into this project. Not only the military, but there's pe people from your guys' community also. Right? Also come, and come to help and volunteer, yes. And I love that part. Yeah. I mean, everybody used to think that what we were sharing was far-fetched. You know, and I, I, I myself used to think it was crazy. But we're doing it. You know, and to do something from bottom up and not hand it to you. That's what you call a blessing, you know? I mean, being houseless for almost 23 years, it's something. It's something that I hope going forward that we can inspire and encourage in other areas to do it. Is it hard to believe that after all these years, it's finally happening? It is, it is. It took me a while, yeah, to, to actually feel dirt under your feet and knowing it's yours. Yeah. I mean, even when I bring the kids, this is the first year I'm not having some um, program. Usually I do summer programs for kids in the village, you know, to teach them a little bit about self-sustaining and when coming home, um, how do we go forward and how do we go forward together. It's never about just my decision, it's about everybody's decision in this, so. And initially that triangle home was built, but that was it, that didn't work out. Yeah, that, well, I looked at that triangle home like one thing I love about it, kind of reminds me of home itself. Yeah, because we have an Eala home. Yeah, so for our people by seeing that, it kind of made them feel a little bit more at ease. Yeah, um, but it wasn't 
feeding of our families. Yeah, and I had to look at that in uh, going forward, how to make a little bit more changes. But the changes and the, and the idea had to come from our people. So what you see here is not what I've chosen, it's what our village chose. Yeah. How many people at the harbor right now? Uh, we have a little over 200. So I know we fit for 250, almost 300 people here. So I'm loving that. Yeah, and our message that we have set up for years was about bringing our people home. And that's exactly what, we, what we're gonna do. Even though some of our people is in fear of moving because being, being so many years on the street, you know, it's how to convince them to come home. We have a lot of people that is excited to come home, but we still have people that we have to convince to come home. Uh, I just thank you for giving us the opportunity and I hope that what we're doing here we can inspire others around the island you know and if it needed any questions or answers yeah because I know we should be out there in the community helping but we got to take care of what we, we've started first and I hope that we can inspire others thank you yeah it's an exciting project you know it it really demonstrates that when we come together as a community that we can solve tough problems. And, uh, and this is the perfect example of a win-win-win for government, for the private sector, for the homeless community.